So we're back on the beach at Ardmore Point. This is part two of the video. And uh, yeah, we're just going to head along for a, a late mudlark. It's about half an hour before dark. And we're just going to see what we can find on this late mudlark. Hopefully there'll be some nice finds. So yeah, again, this is a 385 million year old rock. It's had houses on it since the 15th century. And uh, yeah, we're just going for a little mudlark. I've got a, bit, a big bit of pottery just sticking in here. I found this as well, which is a bottle stopper. So let's show you this first. It says a chas moor. Glasgow, I don't know if that's Charles Moore, Glasgow, there you go, that would have been maybe like a juice or something like that, that'll start us off, that's a Charles Moore Glasgow bottle, and yeah, let's start us off here, and have a look at this bit of pottery as well, it's off a big flagon, possibly a flagon or something like that there, but yeah, there you go, another nice little find. Yeah, what we were saying then is this beach is absolutely littered with this stuff, and that's absolutely just classic signs of volcanic rock. If you take a look at that, that's volcanic rock. It's beautiful, so yeah. There you go, walking along Admore. And uh, yeah, there you go, look at that, bit of green pottery. Don't know where that's from, if any of you guys know what it is, let me know. It's a weird one. Looks like it could be from a vase or something like that. Possibly a bit of green pottery from a vase. It's got a bit of design on it and it actually looks a really lovely colour, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I just spotted this ring of some sort. I thought it was an umbrella slide, but yeah. Yeah, just a washer or something like that. It's a strange one. Any of you guys know what it's off of? Let us know. Nothing worse than having a big spider crawling up you. No, no, no. I think. Spotty this. I think this is a stopper from a, would you call it a water bottle? And it's not actually part of a statue. <laughs> it's a creepy man. Check that out. Oh, that's brilliant. He's wearing a top hat. Oh, that's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> that is something different. What do you think that was? Looks like a little ornament, doesn't it? Let's see if we can get that off his face. <laughs> there you go, look at that lovely top of the morning to you. Lovely little man with a big top hat on, beautiful. Well, I slightly wedged this one out because I thought it was whole <laughs> when I seen it and I just wedged it up the way and it's not. But can you guess what that is? I know what that is. It's a baby feeding bottle. Inward screw. Some of them are the Queen's feeding bottle. But that's a baby feeding bottle, see if that would have been whole. They still sell for about 20 to 30 pound, but yeah, here you go, that's part of a baby feeding bottle. And we'll add a little picture in, just here. Well, I've just found this, I've no idea what it's from, but it's decorated around here. Whether it's from an old vase or something like that, I don't really know. But yeah, it's something interesting. If any of you guys know what it's off of, please let us know. Well, I found a whole bottle. AJ White Limited. I'm sure that's a boot polish. I think it says the same on the other side, yeah. AJ White, AJ White. I'm sure these were boot polishes or something like that. Here you go. Love a little boot polish, I think it was. And if I'm wrong, I'll add it into the video what it was for. Here's another little one I found lying on the beach. There you go, look at that. Just a little vial one. It's still a lovely little bottle. Here we go, in the rocks. Look at this, I found a selection of bottles. Stuck in here, this is the first one out. Look at the colour of that. That is a, what do you call it? Furniture polish bottle. Quite a common bottle to get. I'm sure they were furniture polish. I know that because I found one with a label on it on a previous dump. This one here is a cordial bottle, which would have been like a little mini juice bottle or something like that. But that's definitely a little cordial bottle. We've we'll also got a wee Hood's Sarsa Parilla sauce. There you go. That would have been a sauce for back in the day. And here I've got a little inkwell. Check the colour of that one out. It's just a little bland inkwell. And these are quite common in dumps of this either. 
Well here we go guys, I've just had another couple of finds and that's a lovely little clay pipe that I've found and a bit of pottery that pottery comes from a a plate I think it is but it looks like it's got a lovely blue flower design on it it's got some lovely broad colours to it as well and uh, yeah, here you go look at that lovely clay pipe and some pottery well check this out, have a look at this check this out for a poor wee soul <laughs> Imagine your feet being that size, eh? I don't know if that's a kid's shoe or an adult shoe, but yeah, back in the day, a lot of people were a lot smaller. Only since GM Foods came along that people have started to get that wee bit bigger. And uh, yeah, there you go, this is a poor wee soul. The person that wore these is probably dead. Well, I've just found this, it's a clay pipe, it's blank. That's a gutter. Can't see what it says on it, it's a Glasgow one I think. We'll have a look at it when we get it home and see if we can get it off it, but that's a little blank clay pipe. Check this out for a find I've just pulled up off the beach. And that is a lovely little cup, that's from a doll set. Rather bigger than the ones that were found here before, but yeah, there you go. A lovely little cup's come up, nonetheless. That's from a little dolly set. That would have been some kid's pride and joy from back in the day in the Victorian times, early 1900s. There we go, check this out, just lying on the beach, here's another one of the furniture polishes. It's one slightly bigger than the last one that I found. And there you go, that's a lovely little furniture polish bottle. Obviously used to clean furniture. Spotted another one, look at this, I found one of these in the last video. And I said to you, I showed you the fragment of the pottery and what it was. And this is what a whole one looks like, well near enough all. It's chipped at the top. And that's a little jam pot. Jam or marmalade pot, sometimes the marmalades have got lines on them and you do get the odd one with writing or the still with the label on the front. This one's blank but we do have a dump that has labels on them and uh, I'll add the picture in because Andy sent me a picture of them 